it will come and strike normally so again shall we bring the same method the same idea after some time the wedge would have been in this position and this will continue its parabolic path so here it will strike normally fine i think some rough <coughs> rough diagram i am able to give so let this be the point where it strikes no same level b okay get into the problem so here again the conventions are the same thing like if you want i'll change convention so upward let me take positive this direction let me take positive let me change so that you will understand things so it will strike normally so what is the displacement of the ball with respect to wedge perpendicular to incline should be zero no it is striking normally here so it is just projected at the edge of the bottom of the incline so what is the displacement perpendicular to incline means in this direction what is the displacement zero no how much it will move along this perpendicular this is the parallel so what is the displacement of the ball perpendicular to incline net displacement will be zero okay proceed now write one equation i'll scroll down let me write equation so perpendicular direction and before that shall we resolve the accelerations here yes. so what is the acceleration of the ball will be g g g parallel g perpendicular similarly for the ball it will be a not perpendicular a not parallel so i'll proceed like this displacement perpendicular to perpendicular to incline is zero net displacement perpendicular to incline is zero so therefore s perpendicular ha huh. net displacement of ball perpendicular to incline is zero net displacement of ball with respect to incline so s perpendicular this will be velocity of ball with respect to wedge along perpendicular direction t plus acceleration of ball with respect to wedge any of symbols you can use any of symbols mm -hmm. okay let's substitute all this one so this part is zero no u b perpendicular minus u w perpendicular t a b perpendicular minus a w perpendicular t square so let me substitute as zero ah, now come one by one what is the velocity of the ball <coughs> with respect perpendicular to incline you see this is 45 degrees this is 53 degree no so you make here 45 degrees so remaining angle how much it will come if this is 90 this is 45 this is 45 this is 53 so if i make 90 so this should be the 45 no so the velocity of ball is somewhere like this call this is theta
is that okay no this one so the, this total angle should be 90 no so what is u pa, u perpendicular u b perpendicular velocity of ball oh ball we have taken symbol I'll, I'll, I'll take small letter huh? Again, you may consider the point B. Come for this. Uh, there's a perpendicular direction. There's a parallel. Okay, there's all that. Uh, it should be, no? It will strike normally. What is the net displacement perpendicular to incline? Must be zero. Okay, let me substitute all this. Uh, u perpendicular will be u cos theta. U b perpendicular will be plus u cos theta. Velocity sir, of the eight degrees. Sir. Ah, theta will be eight degrees. Okay, fine. Yeah. So this will be t. What is the velocity of wedge? It will accelerate from rest. No initial velocity of the wedge will be zero. Plus acceleration of the ball. So what is the perpendicular direction will be G perpendicular. So how much uh, G parallel, G parallel will be G sine 45. G perpendicular will be G cos phi or G by root two. So therefore <coughs> this should be minus G by root two. Uh, that of the wedge A naught I think okay, yeah. Okay, no. I uh, see things. Yeah, th th I think this is very important. Huh? The equation substituting with sine. I think uh, if you can get this, its problem is over. So u cos theta t one t will get eliminated minus g by two. So there's everything. Uh, what is the equation? I can write it now further. Zero equal to u cos theta t minus this will be g by root two. Uh, one root two will come outside. So this will be g plus a naught t by two root two. This t also will get eliminated. So what is this t is equal to? 2 root 2 u cos theta g plus a naught. But uh, we wanted a naught, no? What shall I do? Let me write one more equation. It will strike normally, no? Sir? I'll, I'll finish off, I'll come. No, time is not there. So <coughs> this is net displacement of ball with respect to now along the incline. along the incline. Uh, what is the initial velocity? Zero equal to, uh, so final velocity. So along the incline, shall I write directly the formula? So it will strike normally with respect to incline. So initial velocity is how much it will be like. Uh, it should be equal to u sine theta. It will, so I am using v velocity of ball with respect to wedge along parallel direction is equal to initial velocity of ball plus acceleration of ball with respect to wedge along parallel direction into t. It will strike normally. Velocity of ball with respect to wedge, it will strike normally. So that particular component will be zero. Velocity of ball, u b parallel minus velocity of wedge plus a b parallel minus acceleration of wedge. Now v equal to u plus a t formula I'm using. V relative equal to u plus. Instead of s equal to u relative, you know, because I don't know range.
So try to see the last part of the equation along the incline. So this will be zero. Now, U B parallel. U U B parallel should be U sine theta. This will be positive. Initial velocity of wedge will be zero. Plus acceleration of the ball will be g g by root two. I think I can. Uh, g parallel, no? so g parallel will be how much it is? g sine 45. What is the convention I took? Upward positive, no? So down will be negative. So minus g parallel. Acceleration of the wedge. So this should be minus a naught cos 45. Uh, u sine theta, this will be plus, this will be minus of g parallel will be how much? g by root 2. Minus of a naught by root 2 into t. So one more equation, I'll get it. Root 2 u sine theta by g minus a naught. So this is the equation one, this is the equation two. Equate both, you'll get exp expression for acceleration. Okay, all of you. This is the equation. So a little bit, uh, you have to work out that particular directions uh, along parallel, along the incline. Uh, somebody asking, S perpendicular, displacement perpendicular to incline. Relative motion pr problem. Here the incline is also having acceleration, that's all. A naught is the acceleration of incline horizontally. You resolve acceleration of incline along the uh, acceleration of the plane, perpendicular incline, parallel incline, and apply the formula. Acceleration of the wedge. Okay, th this is this symbol went wrong. Okay, no? See, so nothing big, the very old formula, S relative equal to U relative plus half A relative T square, V relative equal to U relative plus A relative T square. Uh, why VB, VBW parallel? Because it will strike normally, no? Why this should be zero? So any reason I took you? Ball. strikes normally. So what will happen to component of velocity of ball along the incline with respect to incline will be zero. With respect to ground will be non-zero but with respect to incline it will be zero. I think this is something very important. Huh? Otherwise you, you can't end up And this idea is very important. Okay, fine. Just uh, <coughs> I'll, I'll update. Go, go through all things clearly. Huh? Well, so should we equate both the t's now? Oh yeah, that one. No, both are same. No, time of flight should be same. So what what does it mean by the value of parabolic path? Value of parabolic path? Huh? Yes, so they, they asked that in the question. No, acceleration no, is asking. Find the value of A naught for which the particle. Yeah. Okay, sir. No, wait, I'll, I'll get you. Huh? Um, I think that word, it's, no, it's a particle. Huh? I 
I think it's a parabola, no? For which the particle, I think it's a particle clearly visible. Yes, sir. Hmm? I'll rewrite again. Sir, what is the final answer, sir? Twenty three by twenty six by three. This will be your answer, no? A not equating one and two. So you do one thing. One and two and solve. You look at this one. So this was asked, no? What should be the acceleration of the wedge? Okay, fine. So these are the some problems based on relative acceleration motion. See nothing again. S relative, U relative, R relative, T square. Finish all. You give some 